In this day and age of digital technology, mobile payment apps such as Venmo have evolved into a practical method of dividing bills, sending money to friends, and even paying for groceries and other services. However, along with this convenience comes a question that many users may find difficult to answer. Does the Internal Revenue Service receive reports from Venmo? The response, much like the majority of things in tax law, is not a straightforward yes or no. Individuals were traditionally responsible for self-reporting their income to the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, which included revenue received through payment apps. Changes were made to the statute in 2021, however, with the intention of enhancing the collection of taxes. This law requires third-party payment networks, like Venmo, to report transactions that meet specific thresholds to the IRS. However, there's a crucial point to remember, this new rule has been delayed twice. As of March 2024, the IRS won't require Venmo, or similar apps, to report transactions unless they exceed $600 in a single year and consist of more than 200 transactions. In simpler terms, if you use Venmo primarily for personal transactions like splitting dinner bills or paying rent to a roommate, you likely don't need to worry about IRS reporting. However, if you use Venmo for business purposes, such as selling crafts or freelance work, and your transactions exceed the thresholds, Venmo will send a Form 1099-K to you and the IRS. What is a Form 1099-K? A Form 1099-K is an information return that reports payment card and third-party network transactions. When you receive a 1099-K, it serves as an official record for the IRS, indicating the income you received through Venmo. Here's what you need to know about Form 1099-K. It will show the total amount you received through Venmo for goods and services during the tax year. You will receive a copy of the form in January of the following year, e.g., you will receive your 2023-1099-K in January 2024. The information on the 1099-K should be used to report your business income on your tax return. Keeping track of your Venmo transactions Even if your Venmo activity doesn't currently trigger IRS reporting, it's wise to maintain good record-keeping habits. Here are some tips. Categorize your transactions. Distinguish between personal and business transactions on Venmo. This will simplify tax filing if your income ever surpasses the reporting thresholds. Download transaction history. Regularly download your Venmo transaction history. This provides a detailed record of your activity for tax or budgeting purposes. Use separate accounts. Consider using a separate Venmo account for business transactions. This avoids confusion and simplifies record keeping. When to consult a tax professional. If you are unsure about how your Venmo activity affects your taxes, especially if you use it frequently for business purposes, consider seeking guidance from a tax professional. They can help you understand your specific tax obligations and ensure you're filing your taxes correctly. Remember, tax laws can be complex, and this blog post shouldn't be considered tax advice. Always consult with a qualified professional for personalized guidance on your unique tax situation. Venmo currently doesn't report transactions to the IRS unless they exceed $600 and 200 transactions in a year as of March 2024. If you use Venmo for business, keep good records to simplify tax filing if your income surpasses the thresholds. Consider using a separate Venmo account for business transactions. When in doubt, Consult with a tax professional for personalized guidance. By understanding how Venmo and the IRS interact, you can ensure you're on top of your tax obligations and avoid any unexpected surprises come tax season.